Okay guys, don't ask me how I got my hands on this thing, but this, this is it. Straight from across the Pacific Ocean, ah, the China only Honor TV from Huawei featuring, I'm just gonna put this down, their Hongmeng OS, which at one point was rumored to be Huawei's answer to being cut off from Android. Now, though now they've like, they've walked that back. They've said it's more of like an Android Fuchsia competitor, something. I don't know. We don't know what it is because I can't read anything on this. So thankfully, I've brought along a special friend to help me check out the Honor TV and it's Hongmeng OS. Dennis. First, I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can help you read this. Honor Smart TV. You're full of shit. Yes. That's Honor all it says? Why do they need so many characters for that? What about Pro? Oh, no, that's fine. I, I get it. You don't, you don't read English. I don't read English. I can read Chinese. This video is brought to you by privacy.com. Get a brand new virtual credit card number every time you shop with privacy. Check out the link below and get $5 off your first purchase. It's basically free money. And if anyone likes free money, it's Dennis. Yes. Give me all the free money. All right. So this is Honor Smart TV Pro. So, or so Dennis claims. So they only sell this in China for now, right? No, ever, as far as we know. Oh. Um, okay, this is so all we, pretty visual. Yeah, I think, so I, you, can, you can I, think I can figure this out. Got that composite cable included. I got nice. The, I got the stand, but how come it looks kind of tilt? Um, probably because it goes like that. Oh. Okay. Oh, weird. The power plug doesn't have the holes. So I guess that means it doesn't work with uh, locking extension cords and stuff. Okay, it's kind of yeah. Apple remote, but like cheaper and plasticer. But wait, he has Honor Magic Link with NFC chip. Okay, so what does that do? So I mean, I think you can tap this thing and then we'll, switch, then we'll connect your phone to the TV. Do you want to install that on your phone? Huawei not. <laughs> Did you just say Huawei not? This one is a 55 inch model. So I just wanted to kind of show the design on the back. It's actually kind of, kind of an interesting shape and the IO is weird. So the power goes in here, which I can't think of a good reason to do that beyond like cost saving measure. Cause like the power supply happens to be here. No vase amount, except that there's like, Oh yeah, no, it is a vase amount. So you just gotta maybe put a pin in it and then like pop it out. Yeah. So that's where we put the stand. Oh, that's kind of nice. It has a little cover for where the stand goes if you want to wall mount it. Oh, this is the, the button on and off. Oh, oh, so it's just like an accent light. Yeah, yeah okay, cool. Ooh, oh, okay, the there we go. So what do we got here? Three HDMIs, USB 3, Ethernet. Oh, coax, I guess? Oh, it's kind of a different connector than I'm used to seeing for it. And then uh, that's a three and a half millimeter jack. What is that though? It's for that uh, composite video adapter. Yeah, this, this guy right here. Okay, cool. Uh, we can see the integrated speakers through the grill down here. So I've got three on this side, another three on that side. All right, let's go ahead and throw it up here. Hey, who left all these hats here? LTTstore.com, we got three different colors. How much of our personal information is likely to be collected in the next uh, hour? So. Uh, I'm not using my phone. I'm doing it. I like to live dangerously. Hey, look, there's no proof they spied. You can prove it later, Linus. She says, nice to meet you. Her name's Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo? Yo-Yo, yeah. So basically it says, you need to access your phone, your uh, read and write storage and camera. And you need to- um, Why does it need my camera? Well, there's always a lot of question about this, but I think you have to say, say agree. Fine. Oh, I wonder if Oh, on your, for your Huawei device. Need to be, you need, can only use on Huawei, I guess. Okay, I got my hands on an Honor View 20 here. So I'm just gonna wait for it to charge up. In the meantime, why don't we experience 
Chinese TV. Okay. So uh, just agree. <laughs> just agree. So understand. agree is the one on the right? Well, yeah, what am I agreeing agree. to? Just agree. So basically it says, above uh, data will be trans transferred, trans transferred and collected to the Repo People of Republic of China's server. So in order to have the complete experience, I need to agree to give the People's yeah, Republic you, of China my data. you just have to agree. Do you have a Huawei account? I actually think I do. So far, honestly, my main comment is this is pretty similar to any other TV. Oh no! What? This, oh, click again? It's just, this device only supports Huawei account that's registered in China. Now what? So do we really need this anyway though? Uh, I don't know, we can try without the account. It's telling you the weather in Beijing, not Vancouver. That was super weird. Why did it I don't answer know. and then just gone? 你好, yo, yo, 放个电影吧. Oh, you can only like try, you can watch 10 minutes for free. But, you, oh, right. and then you have to like, you have to link your Huawei uh, membership to watch the full version. Wow. Never seen this movie? That looks like crap. Nice. So this is free, you don't need a membership to watch it. How are the, how are the onboard speakers? And only Mr. Jang has the code. Uh. Actually, not too bad. Oh, so, so these are just all the built-in movie yeah, platforms. That's yes. why, here, can I borrow this for a second? Yeah. That's why we're actually seeing a lot of the same movies from one to another. Yeah. And this is cool meow, I guess, different platform. And this is Mango TV. Mango TV, is that that's this? This is Mango TV. And what's yeah. Mango TV? So Mango TV is like, um, min, like one of the mainland television stations. They do a lot of like reality shows. Holy crap, this one has 75, 75 seconds, seconds right? of ads. Wait, so I have to have a membership to watch it without ads then? Yeah. So I've got to give them credit. Hong Mang OS is like very content centric. Like you fire it up and it's not like, here's a bunch of random stuff. Here is a whole bunch of platforms that you may or may not be interested in. So I guess I never mentioned this before. This is a 4K TV, I mean this content doesn't look great. This is pretty low bit rate, but then there was that other video that took a while to kind of yeah. kick in at a higher bit rate, so maybe it will eventually. Uh, it's got two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. It's got their high silicon Honghu, how do I, whatever, 818 chip, so that's two ARM Cortex A73s and then two A53s, so two high performance, two lower performance, a Mali G51 GPU, so you could feasibly play some cheapo Android games on it, I guess, although. I can't imagine how you'd get access to the Play Store. Um, the Pro has the six speakers, the Vision only has four, and it's got a 60 hertz refresh rate, 400 nit peak brightness, 94% uh, screen to body ratio, that kind of checks out, and then dual band Wi-Fi. You can see the bitrate did pick up on this. It's still not great, like you'll still see some bending and some blocking in the water, but it's, it's quite a bit better than it was before. All right, so is there anything on here that isn't just TV, TV well, shows? Well, this music doesn't work. Um, there are some Chinese... Um, Wait, did we lose show. our internet connection? I don't think things are loading in anymore. You have to, did no. we just get kicked off? No way. Is our internet working here? That's uh, yeah, it's working. Drives in our server closet. Okay, no. so let's try we'll reconnecting it. again then. Okay, click it. Click the whatever. Okay, we're back. Huhu Mama is going to tell you this story. SpongeBob. Episode 1. In the beautiful. Well, I'm not translating this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. <laughs> How am I supposed to enjoy this content if you don't? <laughs> SpongeBob. There's no way that's all she said. I'm listening. Do do do. 
<laughs> yes, yeah, SpongeBob story. Yeah, that's the worst you know, translation yeah. ever. <laughs> if I ever have to go to like, you know, an important business meeting with someone Chinese or something, I'm, I'm not bringing you. Look, the You'd thing is, like, it's SpongeBob. Yeah, they want some kind of partnership. Just, just press agree, just agree, sign. agree, just agree. agree. Just agree. And I just got the, uh, the, the the Chinese um, Huawei. Account. Oh, we got a Chinese Huawei account, suckers! Yeah. Okay, video call. Should we try video call? Sure. Video call? Call your mom? Uh, <laughs> my mom used iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the meantime, let's find something that didn't work before because we didn't have a Huawei account. Uh, this one. This one. Sure, yeah. Okay, whatever this is. Yeah, it's free. If you have a Huawei account. You have a Huawei account, account it's free. But yeah. Ha- oh, dang! Like oh, you have six minutes, then you have to yeah. upgrade your membership. You have to membership. upgrade your account to, um, a paid version. Like a premium you version. You need to have a gold membership. So it's like 39 Chinese yuan per month. Okay, so that's like 550 US oh dollars per month. Uh, and then what does 60 yuan get you? Two months? Three months. Three months. Three months. Oh, so it's a lot cheaper if yeah, you subscribe for a year. Yeah, and 12 months is 180. Yeah. yeah, but that's the same. No, it's not the same. It's yes, it is. Times it's four. Not the same. It's 20, oh, 20. Three months. Oh, times four. Oh, I thought it was times three. Love See whatever. the math here? Wow. <laughs> Even though I cannot do translate, I can do math. What? So that's like 25 bucks a year. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cheap. Okay, so why don't we dig into the settings menu a little bit now then? It's uh, standard mode. Why would you tell me it's standard mode? How am I... Just one to four. Here. Okay. So one? Picture mode. What? <laughs> yeah. What? What do you mean one to four? I what can't read it! Picture mode. Don't be like, oh. Press contrast. <laughs> okay. This is so much easier than getting you to do it, Dennis. I'm just using Bixby Vision, and it's like, there we oh, go. No. Dynamic contrast, yeah, you're out of a job. Dynamic contrast, dynamic backlight, image noise reduction, gamma correction, dynamic picture compensation. Uh, now let's find out what these settings are. I wanna try one more thing to see if I can remove smooth motion. Because if you can't do that at all, that would be horrible. That's, That's off, yeah. okay. Let's try that. Oh, that looks better. Okay. Ah, that's a lot better. Okay, big breakthrough, guys. Dennis, check it out. With Andy's account, we were able to get into the app to control the TV with uh, with our smartphone. Yeah. With specifically a Huawei or Honor smartphone, you can't use a third-party one. Still. For example, in the app, they have the controller and all those like layout here. We can see, let's click the control and see. Oh, you have to look at it while doing it. It's easy, yeah. Oh, that's, so you drag it. You drag it, yeah. And then stop? It. And you click. Oh, that is a horrible interface. <laughs> that's the worst. Here's a UFC. Your phone's locked, right? Yeah. You tap it and you click. You're, you're controlling Oh, now. so you're, you're remote. So the yeah. point is you like stick this on your like, remote by, on yeah. your table or your whatever, your coffee table or something. Yeah. And then you just put, throw your phone on there and it's like, okay, now yeah. you're in remote mode. You're adjusting this, right? Yeah. Look, Glennis, look how cool this is. You can change different, it's easier. Oh, that is way better. Okay. So this is easy. Okay, yeah, so other one was stupid. if we go to any shows, like, okay, let's go back to Avengers. So it's kind of like the Chromecast and it casts to your phone now. So you control your phone now, you tap it, and you change on the TV. Look, Linus, you are controlling. Oh, easier. cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. You can adjust the volume here what? on the TV. Yeah, yeah. Or. Oh, nice. Your phone. That is pretty cool. I mean, I can't think of a reason that I would... Well, oh, I guess I could use my put, headphone jack. Yeah, yeah, and if someone's sleeping, you can watch that. Oh, and like... okay. And another thing, now we can see the camera. Oh, nice! A mirror, a mirror yeah. app. Hey! Nice! See the camera pop out. Nice shirt, yeah. Andy. LTDstore.com. Yeah. LTDstore.com. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. That, that, Image quality is actually not bad. Like when you consider how crappy like a laptop webcam is, like this is more like a phone selfie cam. Like it actually looks fine. I mean, obviously blown up this big, it looks kind of garbo, but like it's good enough. Oh, pfft. 
You have different frame. Oh good, that's useful. You can only con open the camera on the control, so you can't really creep someone. You're not oh. Home. Interesting. They, they're not creepy at all. Your privacy is protected. 你好,悠悠! 来点音乐! What is that? 播放第一个! Yo yo! I still have to get up and reach the remote and play the music. Conclusion wise, honestly, it's more polished than I expected, quite frankly. Like it's got a ton of features, but it's also still way behind in a number of ways, like when it comes to third-party app support. Um, as well as just the overall fit and finish of things like the integrated digital assistant, although that last one in particular is something that we've certainly seen before. I've got to give them credit for having a massive amount of content just, and like content that people would probably actually care about, just like baked right into the TV the minute you fire it up, um, as well as the very affordable streaming service, especially if you buy the year-long subscription, but uh, Overall, as a North American, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on a whole lot, but uh, hey, if you're in China, I guess it seems all right as long as you uh, agree to all the terms and conditions. Exactly. Speaking of agreeing to the terms and conditions, by watching this video, video you agree to the terms and conditions of hearing about our sponsor, FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the all-in-one cloud accounting solution for small businesses and freelancers. It's designed to be simple and intuitive so you can spend less time on paperwork and more time doing real work. And it allows you to do all kinds of cool things like automate tasks like invoicing. Uh, it allows you to organize expenses, track time. Uh, you can automate follow-ups, which is pretty freaking cool. And the best part is that everything is stored in the cloud so you can switch between your PC, a Mac, a mobile phone, whether it's Android or iOS, all without losing any data. Start your 30-day free trial at freshbooks.com slash LTT. Pricing starts at just $15 a month with their $25 a month package handling up to 50 billable clients. So we're gonna have that link below. So thanks for watching, guys. Even you, Chinese government, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.